Hello there, my name is Mr. Smart Onky and welcome back, or welcome to Season 2. Welcome back, I guess, also uh, sort of makes sense. Welcome to Season 2 of our Shogun 2 campaign. This time we're playing Otomo and Shimazu with me once again, Ptolemy. Hey there. And, um, right, Season 2. We finished Season 1 a few months ago, actually, but you guys don't know that. So, <laughs> we figured we wanted to do another campaign. It was, um, what, three months ago, something like that? <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. But um, by the time you'll see this, it's like six months ago or something. It's pretty ridiculous how fast yeah. we finished that. But anyway, um, so similar similar setup. We're doing Shogun 2. Uh, we could have done uh, any other of the expansions. We tried Rise of the Samurai, but it's a bit of a broken game. And, so um, broken. Yeah, Ptolemy doesn't currently own uh, Fall of the Samurai, so we figured we'll do Shogun 2 normal again because we enjoyed it, so why not? Um, same Should settings okay. again. Uh, yes, same settings again. I'll just explain it in the loan screen. Playing on hard difficulty, cooperative long, uh, everything's basically the same as last uh, season. So if you haven't, if you guys haven't seen that, uh, I'll put a link in the description. I'm sure Ptolemy will do the same to our um, Takeda and Yusuji campaign. I have a link to the first episode of it in the top left-hand corner. Yes. Up here. Up there, where he's he's pointing right now. So people who are watching my video, you have no clue what's happening right now. I'm sure they can work out top left themselves. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're, I mean, you, you don't underestimate or don't overestimate these people here. I suppose this is YouTube after all. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, guys, of course. It's but anyway. Unsubscribes immediately. Yeah. So um, the plan is we wanted to start um, with um, I'm the Otomo, him as the uh, Shimazu, because he has really good katana and I have really good gunman. Uh, we thought that would be a pretty good combination to shoot people and then stab them in the face. Um, yeah, simultaneously. and they're so close together as well. Exactly, yeah. So, um, yeah. We, we were close together last time, but this time we're so close together and we're on an <laughs> island that we can't possibly fail to meet up and before, then, say, episode 15. Yeah, and if, <laughs> and if we do happen to fail again with meeting up, we'll do the Oda and Take uh, no, the Oda and the Tokigawa, and then we're literally right next to each other as we start, so we can't fail on that. Uh, I, I but, don't know. Um, I wouldn't put it past it. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, my turn first because you're the host, I think. Um, yeah, it's that seems odd. to be how it works. Yeah, it's it's odd. I don't. I have no clue why it's so weird. But yeah, and I have to say um, that I have done or started a single player with the Shimazu Let's Play. Um, the reason I'm using them here with the Otomo is one because the Otomo is uh, is Mr. Smart Donkey and is right there and makes a good uh, a good team or hopefully will make a good team but also because I've only done like nine or ten episodes of my single player let's play so there's not really a lot that I've actually done in that let's play so I'm not too bothered about repeating what I've already done so um, if you're upset by that I don't care suck a dick yep exactly so um, let's see what's going on here I need to you're uh, a Christian faction yep the Otomo, and I am a Buddhist faction, so one of us needs to uh, convert, and considering we're so close together, and I start with a blacksmith, and you start with a uh, artisan up here, you're going to have improved guns like immediately, and I'm going to have improved uh, weapons and armor immediately, so to, improve, uh, to increase the difficulty, I am going to be Christian rather than you turning Buddhist. So, in fact, you need to be Christian anyway, because you have to have have to be Christian to have your uh, your gunman. Yes, indeed. So I'm going to switch to Christianity, which to do so I need a uh, a Christian building, and the only one that I can remember, I, it may even be the only one, is the Namban Trade Port. Yep. So I'm going to upgrade my harbour immediately, and I'm also going to upgrade my roads immediately. That's what I'm going to do in the first turn. It'll take two turns to do that, and um, I'm at war with the. Ito to my right, uh, they have two provinces. They have uh, Osumi, which is right next to me, and Hyuga, which is the one right next to that. And I can't see much of an army in either of them. Uh, Hyuga has like one army unit and the uh, retainer. I'm going to go take a look at what the other city has because it's like right next to me. There's like nothing here. I'm just going to attack these guys straight away. Yeah, they've got one Bar Shigaru and a Samurai Retainer. Um, I'm just going to auto-resolve this. Because there's no way I'm going to lose. Huh? 
I wouldn't <laughs> again. I wouldn't put it past us. <laughs> no, I lost. <laughs> uh, decisive victory. So I'm going to occupy that peacefully, and they are unhappy with me because stuff is broken. I'm going to turn off their taxes. Uh, even if stuff wasn't broken, I would still be unhappy with you, to be completely wow. honest. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to turn off taxes anyway. It's flickering. There we go. Okay, so they're still minus three, even though everything is here, and I'm fixing their fort. Hopefully that will be, oops, that will be uh, fixed next turn when I fix their, their fort. Yeah, you fix that right up. Yeah, I will do that. And uh, if they don't have another army here, I could just march straight onto Hugo as soon as they're sort of happy with me. Yeah, um, we we could be like we could be like borderline uh, or like border to, to each other in like two turns or three turns. How amazing is that? In three turns, I think we could do it as long as there's no hidden uh, Ito army anywhere. Indeed. If they, if they only have what's in Hugo, which is I um I think like... I'll um I'll break my trade with them and I'll send my uh, army from Bungo over to help you out. Okay. Because then um, even if there isn't hidden hit an army on the way, uh, we'll still be able to take the town regardless. Yeah, that works. Uh, I also need to do my Master of the Arts. I'm going to go for the Way of Chi first because I want to get up to uh, equal fields. In fact, I'm going to just set in equal fields. And leave that going. That's going to take uh, 19 turns, but Damn. that's fine. It, it can just sit on that for a while. Yeah. And uh, diplomacy. I don't think there's anyone I can trade with. There usually isn't. No. Nope. Something uh, that's really nice, by the way, that I only just noticed. When I select my uh, missionary and then hover over a land, I can actually see. Like, I don't have to go into the town to see how much Christianity. I don't know if you already knew that, but I, I never noticed that before. I didn't. I'd never actually played a Christian clan before, so. No, I, I assume it's the same with monks, but I um I regardless. Don't think it is. Yeah, I don't know. I've never noticed it, so maybe maybe not. But then, to be fair, I don't really use monks either. So no, yeah, I, <laughs> that might explain monks. why I don't know. Get out of here, monks. Yeah. So anyway, um, that's all I can do. So I'm going to go ahead and end turn. That is a good choice. Mm. Um, I'm going to be very, um, very dickish, I guess, and I'm going to ask you for money. Okay. I'm going to ask you for six. Six, six bucks. Oh, yeah, it's. Wow. I mean, I'm sorry, but it's just, it has to happen. It's extortion. Yeah. It, it, to be fair, it is. To, I mean, come on. I I, sh I, I I really shouldn't be able to do or really shouldn't be able to get away with what stuff like this. But yeah, I have to bow to your military might, though. Yeah. What with you having two provinces and an army in both? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. The um, hopefully this will um, work on the end though. I needed six so I can make an extra um, trade ship, and having trade two trade ships like after three turns or two turns, and then being able to get two of those nodes straight away, that uh. could help out quite a bit. So um, yeah, right. Bungo is a bit unhappy if I take out this army. Uh, yeah, something I need to explain first, actually, to people watching. Uh, since I am playing the Otomo and we start as a Christian um, clan, we actually get an option here to lease our land, which gives me uh, 4,500 koku and also minus one to my honor. So I'm never going to do this, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway that I have the option to do so if I wanted to, which I don't. So deal with it. Um, yeah, because you, didn't, you, you spoke to, the, to me about this before we started, that you can uh, give away your trade spot, or building spot, rather. Yeah, ex yeah, yeah. that's another thing, actually, I need to, yeah, I forgot that. I <clears throat> I lose my construction shot if I do that, so I gain 4,500, I lose one honor, and I also lose my construction slot. And 4,500 is not even that much, like, later on, we make that every turn, if we make yeah, our economy. 4,500 for, for a slot is... Absolutely awful. Yeah, it's pretty crap. I don't know why you would ever want to do it. I mean, at the very start of the game, I can see why it would be appealing, but honestly, that's shit. It is pretty crappy, yeah. It is, yeah. Um, so I'm going to uh, let's see, declare war on the Ito. Yep. Die, Ito. I asked you because we were already see, already at war with them. So I'm going to yep. take out my army and I'm going to start marching towards their town. And obviously, if you can get there without any issue, I'll let you have it. But otherwise, I'll just be there as backup regardless. All right. So um, that'll be good because I really have no uh, need for those men up here. I need them in Buzin at some point uh, because I am at war with two people: the Shoni and the Ochi. 
they uh, are both they yeah they just don't like me probably because I'm Christian and they aren't I expect so yeah so um, I'm gonna leave my men in Busan for now uh, I'm not gonna move out because I I need some more men before I I can do something and I also need um, like I, I really want to use my matchlock but if I want to siege a town matchlock are basically use well they're not useless but they are a lot less useful than Boa Shigaru because they need to actually get into the town before they can start shooting people. You can't shoot people and then expect your bullet to fall down onto someone's face, yeah. if you know what I mean. So um, that leaves me with zero bucks and everything done. Let's have a quick look at our clan. We have our daimyo who's only got two honor because he started as a Christian. He's got minus one Christian. I have a 15 year old heir, which is pretty decent, so he's going to come of age soon. My daimyo is actually 43, but that's alright. And we have a 26 year old commissioner for warfare, Ko Kobayakawa Chikaharu. So there you go, that's his name. Yeah, because that so easily rolls off the tongue. Yeah, Kobayakawa Chikaharu. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> we all yeah. know him, <laughs> we all like him. Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, that's my turn done. So. He's so legendary that he's just known as that guy. That guy, yeah. D General for Warfare. Yep. Yeah. Oh! Ah! The Ita won Enough a peace treaty. Oh, no shit. Um, well, since they're gonna die soon anyway, it's let's have a look at how much we can dis uh, distort from them. Or extort, yeah. what's the word? Extort. Yeah, alright. Yeah, give it a go. Uh, they don't wanna pay- if they wanna pay 250, it's not even worth it. I'm just gonna murder them. 250? No, nope. take 250, I can deal with them. No, nah, they don't they, they don't even do 250, so screw them. Nah. I won't have less than that. That's extortion to me. <laughs> I'm, I'm not selling my peace treaties for that, but... I mean, come on. I have dignity. <laughs> <laughs> right, wow. so, um... So many icons! I know, right? Yeah. They look a whole of a lot better than the, um... The Rise of the Samurai ones, though, that's for sure. Oh, true. Right, uh, if I leave my... Oh, this is annoying. Resistance to invaders is going to take forever to get rid of. Uh, what can I do to... There's nothing I can actually do to make them like me more, is there? Um, let's see. In uh, Osumi. Yeah. Um... Not I'm really. At, at well, you could just make some three. Yari, I guess, and put them in there, but besides that, not really, no. I, I could, but I want to take my army, oh, um, I put, and so I that would mean I would need to leave two units here. If you put your Daimyo in there, instead of in Satsumi, that's one point. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Satsuma is... oh, just one anyway, so that's fine. So I can take him out and they'll be neutral. That's yeah. alright. Can we hit space and speed up this movement bullshit? Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Right, uh, so that means I'll be minus one if I take all of my troops out minus my daimyo right now, which is fine, I can do that. And then I can build another Yari Ashigaru. I'll build one of those here, and then I'll take everything else out, and I'll start marching towards uh, Huga. Which is going to take me three turns by the looks of it, just. But it doesn't seem like there's another army in the way. Which is good. Um, yeah, it's nice. minus one. That's okay. It's exempt from taxes as well right now, but that'll be fine. I can deal with that. I think what I'll do actually is I'll um, I'll uh, start sieging them so that they can't make any more units either. So it's basically gonna cake gonna be a cakewalk for you to just take. Oh, it. that's a good idea. Yeah, then you can uh, withdraw the turn before I get there. Yeah, exactly. And then they might build like one unit, but that won't be an issue. I think I think even when I'm actually I don't know if I'm sieging it and you attack it, do you get it or how does that work? No, I, I, I would. Be, it. Um, no, I wouldn't be able to attack it. Oh, I would right. come as a support for yours. So uh -huh. I can't decide if I should build roads in Osumi or if I should wait and uh, have more money for the next upgrade to the harbor, which is the Nanban. Or is the Nanban next? No, the Nanban is the one after, I think. But. Uh, I think I'm going to save money and upgrade my harbor because we need to get that Nanban as soon as possible. I um, I could I could probably spend that because I don't like I'm just upgrading like roads and shit as well, so I might as well give you that money because we need to get that as soon as possible. Then again, yeah, it's either your roads or my roads, so it doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, exactly. One of us yeah. will 
lose out. So I think I'm just going to save my money for this turn. But you gave me six bucks. I need to pay you back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Google I'll think bucks. of something <laughs> soon. <laughs> I'm out ah, shit. I am my first trade ship. Lovely. Mm. So let's actually send them over towards my other navy right off the bat. Oh, encountering clans, which of course possibly enables trade. I can trade with the Sagara, which I completely forgot about, but they don't want to trade, so oh. that doesn't work. I think, I, I think they're the only ones that I am trading with. Uh -huh. If you take um, trade ports, if, if you have the, um, the raw silk and the cotton, which are the two northern ones yeah. in the in the uh you in the west incense and incense yeah i'll take both the incenses because we'll be trading between ourselves yeah it uh, doesn't really matter anyway that anyway but it means we have two uh trade ports each so we get the, the income from them sounds good to me all right ah That's here we go there's happened. an army there was that where uh, oh yeah you can't oh, yeah, oh you i can't see it. it yeah uh not a big one though no but um i'll continue siege i guess i could break siege and just get closer and then when you attack him next turn I'll be as backup. Um I'm not sure if I no, can because actually... he he will probably attack you. Yeah that's possible. Will you be able to beat his army? Can you actually see any of it? Uh no, I can see it's four units. Yeah I, I um I will have the defensive and I think that this army in the defensive state will wreck. So I it should be alright. Yeah, I mean if you keep sieging they will have more guys but mm, I don't know oh yeah the thing is if I break siege I won't be able to get that far either uh, and all the all the you gets... back up though and then if, if you back up and he follows you then I'll be able to move up uh, the other way yeah I'll, um, I'll break up or break the siege then break the siege um, right, so I'll just move away as far as I can, so like two feet. Well, you didn't get too far, but... But yeah, at least I'll be out of the range for his reinforcements. Yeah. Alright, so that was a successful plan. Already... Sort of. <laughs> ...happening. Um, let's see, besides that, I... Actually, I'm gonna keep making some trade ships, because I think that's gonna be very important. I'll make one more for now. Trade ships make an absolute buttload of cash. Yeah, this early in the game, they're gonna be amazing. Actually, that's a point. Uh, can I make them? I don't think I can until I get a harbour. Probably, yeah. So I'll be able to at the end of this turn, but... Oh, here we are. They attack me anyway. Oh, he grabbed the guy out of the um, thing. That is... You can, you can withdraw, can't you? Uh, actually, I can, yeah. I'll try. See if I can get far enough. Yes, I can. Alright, that's good. Because now... Oh, hello. What the... Oh, that's a Shoney. I thought for some reason it was Rebels. The flag kind of looked like a Rebel flag. Yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Alright, I can deal with that if they attack me in my town. I've got gunmen, I'll shoot them off all day long. Alright. I am actually uh, kind of happy. I mean, defending-wise, gunmen are amazing. Attacking, they're a little bit worse, but... Yeah. Well, that means they've now got all of their guys inside the town. So they've got five units. Yeah. And I also have five units. One of four. two of them are very slightly depleted, but that's okay. They'll get an extra, of course, from the... Uh, they got uh, some retainers, but we have... I have four more units as well to help out. Well, I can move to here this turn. And then next turn I can lay siege. So either he'll attack me... Or... I'll, um, I'll just move my men up to, like, right here. Or, well, I guess I'll move them into reinforcement range. And then can you, you attack can them. Can you do that? Yeah, 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 definitely. And then, okay. um... And then you just attack them, and then I'll sh I'll reinforce like right off the bat. Unless oh, they of course attack. Keep in mind they're gonna have a turn between. Yeah, if they attack, oh, that's so. that's uh, that's fine. But I guess I'll retreat again if if so. I'm pretty sure I could beat them in a in a in a field battle, but. Yeah, I reckon I could too. But I mean, if I don't have to, then they'll be fine. Oh, too. you saw what uh, guys they had, didn't you? Yeah, they well, I can still see them actually. They yeah. have um, a daimyo, a general, two Yari Shigaru, and one Boa Shigaru. Oh, okay. So, pretty similar to what I've got. I mean, I've got one bow, two Yari, and a Yari Samurai. Yeah, instead of a, a I'll, t I'll take a Yari Samurai instead of a general, to be fair. Yeah, I would as well. So, yeah, I'd, I'd probably have the upper hand there as well. Yep. On the Asumi now, like me, unfortunately, I can't get the Yari into range of my army in in time for the battle, so I guess I'll just leave them there. 
think I'm going to present my daimyo back to my capital, though, just because it's my capital. Yeah. And everyone is now happy. Great clan is destroyed, Tokugawa. That's fine. And I got a, a quest to uh, build a trade port. Trade endeavors plus 1,000 treasury, and I can afford to do it, so I'm going to do that. 1,800 for a trade post leaves me 300, uh, 300 coin, which is basically nothing. Um, and I still can't build trade ships right now, so I'm not going to bother with any kind of ships. All right. And that is me. I'm studying Tofu Dokun as well, so that's cool. Nice. Yeah, mine should be done now. Yep, there you go. And I'm also going for Toto Fukun. Toto Fuck you in. <laughs> uh, harbor is complete, and of course the Tokugawa have been destroyed as they always do. So I'm gonna take up my first trade ship and go towards this top one right here, which I actually can nearly get to. There's no one there, so that's gonna be probably mine, unless there's some ship like right around the corner which I haven't seen. But it's possible, but unlikely. Yeah, because over there is open sea; they'd be taking attrition. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'd so I think that's yours. Yep, and then I'm gonna move the next ship uh, to the other. Uh, points straight away. So, um, yeah, let's move this army. I'll move it right here. And then, uh, hopefully, they don't attack me. And uh, if they don't, then we'll uh, see to the next turn. And I think that's me done already because I haven't actually. I already did everything in my own turn or in your turn. Yeah, so. we'll see if uh, if the Shoni are going to attack Boozan or not. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. It'd be a bad plan that. if they do, though. Uh, yeah, they have six units. I'll get obviously an extra. Uh, oh, actually, I, this is a stronghold, so I got a Yari, Ashigaru, Garrison, and some retainers. So yeah, that's definitely a bad idea on their part. Yeah. And obviously, I got two uh, towers as well, which don't do that much, but they're still useful. Good to have. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I mean, they're no useless army. unless you ignore them. Oh. Now they've attacked you again. Uh, should I break siege? Yeah, uh, you're not even sieging, are you? You can withdraw, though. Can't you? Uh, I mean, should I uh, withdraw? <laughs> Um, yeah, probably. Alright. It's that un annoying though, because I won't be able to... Oh, they're going for you now. That's alright. Alright. Uh, okay, so they've got three Area Shigaru, two Bar Shigaru, and two Generals. So, um, if you if you defeat them here, but I got heavily losses, I'll just take the town, alright? <laughs> yeah, okay. No, I'm joking. Um... Hmm... not happy about this. Well, what you could do... Um, yeah, what you could do is just break, or uh, 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 walk away, and then he's gonna go back into his town, presumably, and then you just siege him in a minute, and then not attack him, and then I'll, I'll, come, in, I'll come in straight away. Afterwards. Sounds like a plan, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they want a peace treaty with me. Yeah, they, they, they know what's up. They know what's up. <laughs> well, I'm having it. Oh, Shoni... Oh, you're really gonna be a douchebag about it. Yep, they are. Oh, if they yeah. if they hadn't created another unit there, because they definitely had six units there. Yeah, yeah, they have created another one. Yeah. yeah, that I would have fought them, but uh, yeah, with, with two it's generals. Risky, yeah, because yeah, they had an extra bowman as well. I mean, oh, one on one is... bowman, I would be fine with that, because I know I win one on one. But it is a winter though. That's the only downside. Yeah, but that's fine because this this battle's gonna commence before the end of winter, so. Is it though? Because uh, you're gonna see. Oh, I'm yeah, gonna come I'll, I'll in for reinforcements, each. and then we're ending turn. And then if they attack us, it'll it will be. But if they don't, it won't be. Oh well, we won't take too many casualties. Nah, from it's that, cool. That anyway, so okay. So I'm going to siege and continue the siege. They'll be like, what the hell are they doing? They're like way less men than us. <laughs> they idiots. Yeah. So then you move in and support them in a minute. Yeah. Except and... I'm running away. Like, ha ha ha. No. Betrayal. Never saw it coming. <laughs> so, um... They've actually got a pretty formidable army at this point. What, they do? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's not bad. It's not great either, but it's not bad. Yeah. Especially with those samurai retainers. Those bows could be an issue, but I think really with the bows it's going to be a siege, so... All we need to go is do is go to the side that doesn't have any archers on it. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, I'm not sure if I should upgrade my roads in Osumi or get improved irrigation. I think roads is probably my best bet because I can't I can't upgrade my um, my trade port for another three turns. 
What do you reckon I should get? The armorer or the weaponsmith? I'm leaning towards armorer. Yeah, I always say armorer every single time. Because armor helps everyone, whereas uh, a weapon only helps melee troops. Yeah, so armor it is then. Yeah. I I'm pretty sure I can get um, silver, silver anyway with the uh, encampments later on. Yeah, indeed. Um, Alright, made some men, made some buildings, made another ship. Um, first off, this ship on the plus right there. side, at least they didn't attack up in Busan. Indeed. Because that could have been. Mm. I mean, you would have won, but it would have hurt, so. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Alright, so I'm going to the second point. Hopefully, no one's there yet. Could be. It's pretty likely that someone is, but. Regardless. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Probably so, um, the uh, the Shoney. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking as well. I'd be very surprised if they don't have at least one of those trade ports. Shoney are sitting outside of their town now, like douchebags. He's like, hey, come at me, bro. <laughs> uh, right, so I'm going to come in for... Actually, I can... No, I can't attack it. I... Oh, I can get like proper close. I can get like all the way over here. Is that close enough to reinforce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, like... Quite far oh, yeah. behind I me. Can see the, the yellow arrow. Yeah, exactly. What I what I think it's more like if they decide to attack you. So I'm actually gonna put my men like right here. So if they do attack you, then I'll be close enough for that as well. Yeah, and, and then I'll you'll be, be right next to you. the into the battle when I start it next turn anyway. Yeah, that's cool. So um, right, yeah, that's that done, and that's my money done. See, guys, we can teamwork. Oh, look at that. We and can do this stuff. Yeah, we can. You never knew, because we never did it last time, but we can. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think that's done already. Gosh. Bro, just going through these turns like a madman. Well, you know, it's the early turns. They're always pretty fast. Yeah. Can't wait for these Ito to die, though. Am I single-player campaign right now? Oh, here we go. Oh, yes. That's Perfect. exactly what we want. Yep. So, let's yep. fight this battle. So, hold on. Are they attacking... Yeah, they're attacking me, I believe. Or is that you? I have no idea. No, no, no yeah, they're attacking you. That's yeah, okay. I'm defending, cool. yeah. Um, well, how can they decline you? attack. No, I'll, I'll leave it. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> yeah, oh, no, yeah, of course. Yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah, but I just I saw my men. I was like, well, I don't know what's going on. I don't understand. <laughs> I'm supposed to be pretty experienced at this game, but I don't know what's going on. Um, oh, there's a really nice little uh, hilltop in the in the rear there. Yeah, that is nice. And I think I'm coming from uh, behind, or, well, I supposedly to the right, but I doubt I'll be coming from uh, the sea, so. Yeah. Then again, it, it would it could screw me over by putting me, like, on the on the right, like, just above the water, so in between you and him. That'd be a little bit annoying, but. Mm, it would. Where should I deploy? Should I deploy near the rear, or the front, or just in the middle? Um... I can well, always march backwards if I deploy right in the middle. The best hill would be the one on the on the bottom, or on the well, on the left, sort of on the bottom, like the massive one, because it has so, so many trees on it that you'd have cover everywhere, and you could make it so that they don't have the cover by like not deploying all the way up top, but like slightly down. That's true. But um, yeah, there's there's a few hills that are really good. Yeah, it screwed me over. Look at where oh, I'm deployed. Oh wow! <laughs> Holy shit! Um, well, in that case, do you want to like move yeah, immediately right. down here? Um, oh yeah, that works too. Because they, yeah. they're going to come straight at you. Yeah. There, so likely. you want to move like down, and then I'll meet up with you, sort of at the edge of my box. Oh my I'll, I'll deploy over here, at the edge of the. Uh, I am literally area. just put right next to them. That's lovely. Uh, yeah, I'll try and get over there. Obviously, they might not like it. Well, you might have to run, but you know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll, um, so where are we meeting up, sort of? Uh, the hill you're on right now? I'll try and get to that uh, one. We'll meet up sort of somewhere around this kind of area, maybe a bit further forward than that. Yeah, because I'm thinking if I can make it to your hill, that that's a pretty decent hill right there, actually. It is. The one in front of me is quite good as well. Yeah, but, or uh, yeah, or I was going to say this one, because it might be easier to get to that, but then they could really easily get to that one as well, so it depends yeah, on where Yeah, I don't deploy. think that's a good one for us to try and take. I think, actually, I've deployed way too far down this hill. And move the guys slightly I'll, um, up. We'll, we'll see where their men spawn, and then um, we'll decide from there. But I'll, obviously, I'll try and run down as fast as I can, regardless. Yeah, I mean, this should be good. And I have to wait so, a few seconds for our men to actually get on the battlefield as well. Yeah. All right, let's start and see where they are. Okay, oh, they're exactly far away. Thank God, they could have screwed us over there. 
Yes. And, I, and I'm, I purposely yeah. made my men so like on the battle on the actual campaign map, so I would be extremely close to you. But the game's like, nah, we're not having that. Um, right. So they are. Yeah, they're coming, coming for you. Yeah. If you move down to the south immediately. They're actually moving up to the north, which is yeah, alright. Yeah, not entirely sure. They're moving around the mountain. Yeah, if they're going to give us time to join our forces together, that's absolutely oh, fine. Oh, no, they're um, they're sending some towards you and some towards me. It, that's it fine. looks like, anyway. That's fine. It's general standing still, so maybe setting up would be oh, kind of a the, weird place to set up. But... They're sending the, uh, the samurai and the ashigaru towards me, and then the rest are coming to you. Yeah, you take those two units and... Uh... Is there um, a defensive position you can take up there, or is it not worth it? No, it's probably not worth it with what you've got. Not against their, their army, anyway. No. Um, actually, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to. I'm, I, I've got, I found a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, bear in mind that the army is coming at you has both of the archers with it. Yeah, try and uh, try and get over here as fast as you can. That's what I all I can say really. All right. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll move my guys over here. I oh, my general run a little bit too far. Yeah, I've got a pretty decent, uh, like, tiny hill up here. Which is what I'm gonna have to use. Alright, well hopefully they won't uh, sit and shoot you. Hopefully they'll like, move in and try and fight you melee. Yeah. Either that or hopefully they'll take the hill right here. They're taking, uh, they're, like, they're marching, they're like going very slowly, so possibly you might be able to kill those two and actually come from behind them. Uh, actually, they're running, but... Are they running? Yeah. The one's coming to you are running. Oh, yeah, you're right. They are running. Yeah, they're watching. running to me as well, actually. Oh, well, that's good as well. Which is fine, because I'm in position, so... They can bring it on. Actually, I don't know if I can hide. Yeah. Can I hide my general? I don't know, because he's not, like, the main general, but I'm pretty sure he can't hide regardless. Um, I don't know. Uh, Either way, they're not coming towards you, your general, so I wouldn't worry about that. Some they're of their men are already uh, charging at me. I heard some men like, Aah! Yeah, I think they're coming at me. Oh yeah, that could be the ones as well. Yeah, I can't get hidden. Yeah, your part of the battlefield is a lot more interesting right there. You've got a really nice hill. Yeah, and I've already done a little bit of damage to their samurai. Oh yeah. Oh, that was good following. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to pull them back now. Oh, they're, uh, they're not... There we go. Good. Oh, that's interesting. Well, I'm going to go downhill into them then, and I'm going to go all the way around right here. Yeah, they're actually a little bit worn out too, which is good. Gonna hit them from all sides right here. There we go. Their, their samurai are wavering. If you run towards me, you should be fine because I'm gonna take these guys out any moment now. They're not gonna last long at all. Here they go. They're running. No, I think uh, I think it'll be. Uh, I should be able to hang out here for a little bit, and then you can actually discharge them in the rear. Uh, well, you don't need to. Yeah, but I mean, I think they're they're cl too close already for me to back off. I, it looks actually like they might be coming for you now. They're sort uh, of shifting around. Possibly because I've just destroyed what they had. I don't I don't know where the the rest of their army. I can only see the two. Oh, there they are! Holy shit! Yeah, I'm not sure. I think uh, some of them are still coming towards me, and some of them might be coming towards you now instead. Oh, nope! Now it looks like everything's coming to me again. I have right. no idea what they're up to. It's right. possible that they're confused, but uh possibly. Oh, it looks like their general's actually coming for my uh my general here. Uh possibly. Can you evade? Yeah, I'm going to try and run them in front of my gunmen. All right. I'm marching cuz my guys have been in fighting and they'll be knackered by the time they get there otherwise. Yeah, if you can draw their uh, gunmen into your Yari, I mean, their, their general into your Yari, that'd be really good. Yeah, I would charge him there if I were you. 
Our general no, is in grave danger. I mean, Yari. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll leave it. So I can keep running with this guy, and he's getting down. Alright. I don't know why my gunmen aren't really shooting, though. They should have had, like, so many shots already. Maybe they're not in range. I hate how slowly I'm moving. Well, he did some nice, uh, nice damage to their general. Yeah, why aren't the gunmen shooting? I think maybe they're about to. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna try and slaughter his general now as well. Nice. Yeah, if you can just hold... Oh, his general's coming in now. If you can just hold them off there, I can possibly get to you in time, hopefully. Oh, so far away. All right, second general's not coming for my uh, my general. Uh, I'm gonna charge their bowmen because they're right there. I'm not too far away. Won't be too tired by the time I reach them. All right, I'm gonna bring my general over to try and help with you. I'm winded though. And so are you. Oh, I broke two of their units here. Oh, excellent. I'm gonna charge after. If you can come towards me, my general, that is. Uh, uh here. Yep, yep, yep. Then I can help uh, surround. Yeah, one of his generals is uh, shattered, actually. My guys are tired there. And his is uh, probably more fresh than mine. Yeah, that's fine, because I'll attack from, uh, from one side. If you go, um, don't come towards me now, turn right. Oh shit, sorry, I'm uh... It's alright, it's fine, carry on, carry on. Keep going, go up the hill. Never mind, that's fine. Whichever way you go, I'll, I'll come in from behind. Here we go. Alright, I'm charging from behind now. Yeah, I'm gonna go slightly up the hill and then charge them. Yeah, that's alright. I'm trying to charge from behind anyway. Might lose a few men, but... And the rest of the battle is basically already won. Yeah. Yeah, everything else is just done now. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. There we go, that's good. That's Everything opinion. else is destroyed. Oh, they're running. Sweet. Good. That was a good fight. I it lost, was. Uh, about half of everything, but that's fine. Yeah, but that worked out actually really well overall. Yeah. Decided victory. I actually lost hardly anything, but then it's hardly surprising. Yeah. You took the losses for me. Hey, that's what friends are for. Yeah, I appreciate it. Honestly, I don't really need these um, these men here at the moment because, uh, like, my main battles are up top. Yeah. And this was more of a just helping you out, I guess. Just nice to have that extra army there to have the options. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Wow, you lost quite a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but it's it's alright. Like I said, I don't really need them for a while, so I might as well just like let them uh, re retrieve their men or retrain them, whatever. Yeah, but all of your guys gained experience, which is oh, nice. Yeah, too experienced for the Yaris. Yeah, they did. They had the perfect like small hill. And just, like, yeah. Really, really nice. Anyway. Unfortunately, they didn't get too much time to uh, to attack you with their bowmen. Oh, nice. You got experience as well. I did. The only downside is now we're gonna lose some extra men from attrition, but oh, well. yeah, but that's fine. It'd be hardly anything. Yeah. And now you can auto resolve the battle as well. Yeah. Because I can't have much left at all. No, I can. I mean, look at the flag. It looks like maybe one unit. Yeah. And like completely broken up one unit. Winter attrition. Oh no. Yeah. What did well, I actually lose next to nothing. Wasn't much. No. Uh, they have don't even have the samurai but... retainers at all because I chased them down and killed them all. <laughs> nice. They've got two Yari, which are less than half men, and they're Daimyo with 11 men. <laughs> You're less than half a man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to immediately kill this, and it's going to be... Your guys will be in the battle as well, so I'm going to auto-resolve this. <laughs> I'm not even getting an option if I want to auto-resolve this or not. Oh yeah, I need to choose it as well. That's fine. Yeah, yeah we lost nothing, so that's yes. good. And I got no experience, but that's cool. I got one. Yay. Nice. 
think my uh, general actually, yeah, he leveled up from that, so I'll take that. Even ah, nice. too, so. Ooh, even peacefully occupies minus seven predicted order. That's harsh. Indeed. Ooh, my general gained the trait of brave. So plus one morale Ooh, for him. Ooh, I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I um sorry, I'm interrupting you there. I um because I leveled up, I got obviously choice between retainers. One of them is minus one morale for all units under this man's command, but also minus five percent to the chance uh, character's chance of being assassinated. But the other one is plus one to the daimyo's honor, and that's something I really need right now. Yeah, so yeah, that's very useful for me actually. Yeah, I was actually going to suggest once your uh, your heir comes of age to suicide your your. Yeah, I was daimyo. thinking that too, but now this may change it a little bit. But yeah, if you can get plus one honor for it, then it's definitely worth it. Indeed. And mine's leveled up as well, so what can I get? Either minus 5% chance of being assassinated, or plus 1 morale, and plus 5% upkeep. So it costs a little bit more, but they have more morale. I think that's more than worth it. Indeed. And skill tree. But that one is the, the issue. I think I have to go for strategist first off. How many turns? Oh, wow. So many turns until these things are replenished because these trails are terrible. I'm going to upgrade those to roads. And how two turns until my trade post is done. Nice. And everything else is good. I don't really want to spend any money on anything other than buildings right now because I can recruit samurai, but. I don't really need to right now. That's the yeah, last of I my mean, my war enemies. So I made I made one unit so far for uh, Boozen, like in case the sh uh, Shoni wanted to attack me. Besides that, I haven't made a single unit yet either. Well, I'm not at war with anyone right now, so I can march my army up and help you in Boozen in a few turns. Well, that'd be cool, yeah. I have to get Hugo in control first because it's yeah. unhappy right now. But as soon as that's done, I'll march up and uh, and help you out. Sweet. And then basically have control of this island, with the exception of the Sagara, who are friendly with me at least. Yeah, I um, I remember when I played my Shimazu campaign like a long time ago on a different channel. I um, I was playing uh, obviously Shimazu, and uh, I had the entire uh, island under like the entire game basically was mine except for the Sagara uh, Higo place that they have right now. I just mm -hmm. let them live until the end of the game because they weren't hurting me or anything. So, yeah, I I have a quite a good uh, impression of Sagara because whenever I play with them, they don't tend to attack me. I'm probably talking out my ass because they probably attacked me in my single player campaign, but I never remember them attacking me. Right, yeah. Anyway, um, that's pretty much all I can do. I would really like to build some trade ships, but I can't build them yet because I don't have uh, my trade port. Yeah. But then after that, I'll be able to build the Nanban, hopefully. So I'm just going to end turn and hopefully I'll have that uh, next turn. Indeed. Right, general oh, increase in rank, I already knew that much. Construction complete, some roads, clan destroyed, the Ito, of course, we just did that. Yep. And lost some winter attrition. Right. Yeah, lovely display of teamwork. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> um, right, so first off, I'm going to have a look and see if I can take this point here with my trade ship. Uh, yes, it's available. Thank you. I appreciate that. Raw silk. So I've got one more trade ship that I'm actually going to send over to the same one because raw silk for some reason seems to be worth more than was that. Uh, what silk cotton. is worth more than cotton? You don't say. <laughs> <laughs> I would also say that, yeah. Um, right, I'm making some more trade tips as well for the future. I kind of forgot it before, but it's all good. Um, so I'm going to take this army back up to Bungo and probably yeah, let them sit there for a turn or two, let them re uh, recruit some men or replenish some men even. I just made my roads here, so my replenishment will be slightly better than it was before. Just realize that you start with a Nanban trade port. Yeah, I know. It's Which nice, is a level isn't it? three dock, basically. Yeah, it's nice. That's really nice. It's pretty cool. Um, and I think that's gonna be me done already. Oh, we can actually see the Shoni army now. Oh, that is a pretty big stack right there. Oh, yeah, it is. Compared to my uh, measly army. Yeah, once you get the other army up up there, I'll be fine. But um, yeah, yeah, that's a little bit intimidating. For now, I'll um. I do you have. Uh, 18 bucks for me. Yeah, sure. Alright. I'm wondering if that's all of their army. Because if I could get a a, um, it is good to a military see a access face. with the uh, with the Sagara, 
I could march my army through and take one of their territories from behind. If I gift you a unit and then you attack with it and I reinforce, yeah, then you can take, say, Heizen, perhaps, and that would leave them only with uh, Tazushi or whatever the fuck it's called. Sushi. Yeah, Sushi. And then if you have your uh, the rest of your army come into Buzan. Yeah. I don't want to do that immediately though, because if they turn around and attack me there, I'll just be crushed. So. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe they'll attack me right now, and they'll often make my stand. Which uh, I don't know. It's I, I I reckon it it's a pretty decent shot I would have, but um, if they don't want to attack me, I'm completely fine with that too. Well, their turn's already passed. So they haven't yeah, attacked you. That's good. Yeah, it just gives us more time to prepare. Indeed. It gives them more time as well, but you know. Yeah. That's uh, for us. That's why I wanted the 18 bucks so I can make one more archer unit. Ah, uh, that's tofu done. So I'm studying equal fields, which is excellent. Is my no, my trading post will be done next turn. So I think I'm going to save all my money because the nanban is going to be expensive. Yes, it is. And other than that, we're good. Um, Asumi. Can I turn this off yet? No, damn it, it's still minus one. If I, t if I uh, turn taxes back on and assume me. Um, if it's predicted minus one, does that mean next turn? Um, yeah. Well, that means I, 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 if I turn taxes back on, I'm at minus one. And the resistance to invaders is minus two predicted minus one. So that means that there yeah, will be zero next turn. Yeah. Okay, so I'll turn the taxes back on there then. And that'll give me another, like, 200 or so. Yeah, nearly 300 coin. So that's worth it. Well, 288 is right there. So that should be fine next turn. Indeed. As, as much as I would like to improve the roads or something, I'm going to need to save my money so that I can uh, improve that thing right there. Um, hold on. In fact, I can turn the taxes back on in Huga as well, because my army is sitting there. So that's good. I'll have 1,500 income next turn. That's very nice. That might just be enough to pay for the trade port. I don't know. We'll have to see, I suppose. Indeed. And everything else is done, so it's your turn. Look at that. Switching turns like a am man. Oh, <laughs> one thing we actually need to uh, look out for now is... Um... That we are bordered, and you are obviously still um, a Buddhism, and I am Christian. Yes, I, I checked out Hugo. It's still a hundred percent right now. Okay. I uh, I am making a church <laughs> or a chapel in Bungo, <laughs> so that might actually screw you over in a bit. I, I did that because like if if it does uh, switch over to or if you do switch over to Christi uh, Christianity, then then it will help you out, obviously. Yeah, I mean, I, I should don't. be able to deal with it. I don't actually have a port at all in Hugo right now, so... Mm. Uh, right, I'm going to move out my missionary towards Buzan. I'm going to sit there for a bit. And I'm going to move out my army. I believe that's... Yep, yeah, that's fine. Towards Buzan as well. Because I need men over there. And yep. I made another trade ship. Which I will be sending on its way, on its merry way. And you're <laughs> going to go into my raw silk. I want to make some more money, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, let's see. Is there anything else for me to do? I think I did most of my stuff already. Um, yeah. I guess that's it for me. Oh, Gosh. Good. Go ahead and collect this. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me quickly check here. Uh, I'm I curious. can trade with you now. I completely didn't can think you? about oh. that. I didn't realize we weren't already trading, but okay. Holy shit! I mm -hmm. could, we're gonna. I'm gonna make 420 off you. I'm not sure how much you're gonna make off me, but if it's anything like that, that'd be Let good. Let us take tea and talk. Then up. Yeah, we weren't trading because we weren't uh, like next to each other. Uh, I make like next to nothing off you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's probably because. Uh, you're making money from the trade routes that you have, and I don't have any trade ships yet. Yeah, oh, I'm actually making 586 off you. It, well, that's I don't pretty know, impressive. It was lying to me. How about the cigar? You want to trade with me yet? Nope. All right. Well, suck it. <laughs> I'm curious how much uh, 
changing to Christianity is going to affect my happiness. Uh, how much honor is your daimyo right now? Uh, five. Oh, here we go. Ooh, that that's not looking good. It's uh, it's a decent snack, yeah. Both samurai. They're not not um, melee samurai, which is a good thing, I suppose. Oh god. Uh, oh, should Both I just samurai, uh, yeah. observe this? Have you clicked the thing yet? Uh, I can't see it. Oh, in that case, I'll click it. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah, two bow samurai. Ooh, lots of Yari Yashigaru. Yes, you have like next to no melee at all in there. No. Mm. I do have a samurai retainer. Yeah, that's a um, good thing. I think what I need to do in this case is um, I need to try and use my cavalry outside the wall. It would be better if I had light cav, but that's what I'm making soon. But use him outside the wall and try and lure like uh, a few of his Yari Ashigaru stacks constantly in front of my um, my gunmen so they can keep shooting at them. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, like as long as his generals don't show up, it's fine. But if his generals show up, obviously I've got a big a bit of a problem. But I think yeah, that would be my best shot. If his generals come after you, you're gonna have to retreat inside the walls. Yeah, because I can't take on two generals with one. So yeah, that's. Um, but I, I think that's what I need to try because otherwise, I mean, I'm gonna be overrun too quickly. Mm. And if I can just, even if I can just keep them busy, not even in front of my guns, if I can just keep them busy so they come one by one, my samurai retainers will just mess, like clean them up. I mean, uh, another good tactic would be if they're climbing up the wall, you could uh, hit them while they're climbing because there's always be some of the unit on the bottom. Yeah, that's also something I will do. Oh yeah, and this is a strong wall, so that helps me a little bit. Yeah, that does help. Um, so what I'm gonna do. Uh, yeah, I did make it quite a few archers here. I did that on purpose so that I have good defense for shooting. Mm. I'm going to use this little tactic of making one big line of uh, gunmen, which I love. Oh, I don't want that. Move along. God damn it, get off the wall. <laughs> uh, yeah, that one you dare. Um, actually, you know what? I'll make one line here as well, because I'm not sure how many... You... Why you know work with me? <laughs> it's not working. Why is it not working? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to make a big line like the uh, the gunman. Oh, here we go. Well, it's half working. There's a few. Whatever. I'll just deal with it. Um, and I want one of you on this side. See, they work with me. Look at that. That's one big line of archers. Nice. Um, and then I will leave this guy in the middle because I want him to back up wherever he's needed. Um, and the same with my melee troops, really. And I'll put the general outside for now, and we'll see where they spawn. I assume most of them are going to spawn on that side. And Possibly. If they're broken up, that'd be really good. They usually have, yeah. They usually have like a few on one side and like a ton on the other side. Mm. Let's have a look. Yep, that's what I was expecting. Yeah. What's this over here? That is Yari Ashigaru, Yari Ashigaru, and Yari Ashigaru. That's three of those, and that's Bo, Yari, and probably Yari. Yeah. Right. Um, well, in that case... Uh, yeah, that works. Yeah, that army is seriously intimidating. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty strong. I'm gonna move up my archers a little bit differently. My art is being really weird for some reason. It's just that part of the wall that's apparently weird. It's Whatever. probably just got a gate on it. Yeah, it's um, and then, oh, it's because of the 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 archery tower. That's the one that's being weird. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't really want to put him there, but whatever. Um, right, Mr. General. Yeah, I need my general right here. There's no archers in that in those three units either, so just gonna lead him in front and yeah, the rest is fine for now. You guys can run up the wall, please. You too. Yeah, it's a pretty intimidating uh, army on the right there, but yeah, I really wish those Yari men would just run towards my general. Like, oh, it's a general. We can kill him. <laughs> It'd be nice if they would. Yeah. I really don't like my blob of um, Boishigaru here that's going to get murdered instantly. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Can they not go on like the far side? Like Yeah, but then here? I think they're going to be slightly useless. I guess maybe I can put these guys a little bit differently. 
Well, they're probably going to come and climb the walls immediately anyway. Yeah, that's true. Although they do have some bow samurai there. I think I've got them... They do, but they'll be shooting at you. I mean, if you put them into loose formation behind the wall... Um, where are you going? Why are you not... Just go on the wall. Oh, I'm being charged. Alright, here we go. They're not really close yet, but okay. Yeah, they are charging you though. It would be nice if the other units would charge you if you went close to them as well. Can you, um, actually, yeah, this is a good job for I don't know why I'm not gifting you units. You can uh, do that, kite the uh, general in front of my, um, my gunman. Yeah, I can do that. Can. Yeah. I don't know why I would do all that. Yeah, look at that. 20, 30 men already dead. It's so strong. And the archery tower's working on them as well, I think. Yeah, exactly. Is it the archery tower? Oh, no, the archery tower's at the back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have a few bow Ashigaru there, actually. Got all of those, um, those units. Alright, there are bow Ashigaru coming up on the right. Bow Samurai. Bow Ashigaru. Alright, that's three units against my two. I've got cover. Yeah, they're getting... They're getting obliterated on your side there. That's good. I don't like these checkpoint things. They keep stopping at the checkpoints. I um, I got one of my my daimyo killed on my single player campaign because of the checkpoints. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I never used it before, it so I gave it a try, and then I forgot about him, and he got called by like half. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, no! And then like him and another general both got killed. It's like, oh fuck! I never got. I never had a daimyo get killed. Uh, oh, this is being so silly. I very rarely even take my daimyos into battle, so... Yeah. Okay, they're coming up close to your... I think another Yari, uh, Yari, you got another Yari Shigaru maybe coming... Oh, maybe not, he's climbing the wall, I'm not sure. Don't know, we'll see. But they're coming close right here. If the gunman would start shooting, that'd be great. There we go. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! Ow! Friendly fire. <laughs> and, and then exactly the daimyo gets killed. It's like, oh shit. That would suck. I would have to stress, not my fault either. <laughs> oh, nice. You got another Yari Shigaru coming for you. Yeah, it's alright. That's, uh, that's good for me. Mm -hmm. yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, okay, I can deal with these guys over here. Alright, one of their units on this side, on the right side, is broken already. Good. Yeah, those Otomo matchlocks, let's have a look, actually. They already killed 245 men. <laughs> yeah, they're just, they're devastating, it's ridiculous. They've only lost two guys. Unfortunately, it's going to be very difficult to get the general back past them again, but actually that's okay, because those Yaris are coming at them, I'll just uh, I think these, uh, the other those one. guys on the back might actually scatter or something, they're already wavering. Possibly. They're mm. getting quite worn out though, so that's good. General's winded right now. That's okay. Oh, I think they may be... No, no. I thought for a second they were giving up chasing the general, but no. Are they also getting shot in the back when they do that, like half the time? Yeah, I know. That's, that's why this is such a good tactic. It's ridiculous. Yeah, I wasn't convinced gonna it was out. actually going to work, but... Yeah, I, I've seen it. That's why I, that's why I knew it was going to work. I've seen a legendary Let's Play oh. of, this, of the Otomo. Oh, yeah, that general. Yeah, I saw him. He's Ooh, turning if, back, if though, he could, right. Yeah, if you could go across Shit. the guns, that'd be perfect. Yes, but uh, your general is tired, so... Yeah, that's true. Well, you could easily catch him. Um, I it. think best bet may be to come inside. Yeah, we've cleared up most of it. Oh, the general's now gonna come right across. Yeah, he is. Cool. I Shoot that man instead. Shoot him. Shoot the general. Good, good job. Twenty. Oh, look at that. Twenty, eighteen, fifteen, twelve. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> Holy shit. Good. Oh, it looks like there's uh, only bowmen on this side now. Just had to charge that bow samurai unit there. Uh, should I charge outside? I don't know. I think I might actually just leave it up to my. As their general broken. Uh, he's dead. Alright, good. So I can continue. There's, uh, there's one more general on their side, but... 
As long as it's nowhere near me, that's fine. No, he, he's on the move though, but I think he might just be dismounting and coming up. Possibly. As long as they're not, uh, as long as they're not coming after the general, I can continue. Five hundred and ten kills. Uh, they're gonna get so much experience. Yeah, it's ridiculous. All right, it looks like all the uh, bowmen are actually coming up the walls now, so I'm going to pull them back. That's good. And start pulling up my infantry. One of our units has used all oh. its ammunition. Right, if they're my... broken, I'm going to charge them down. My gunmen still have plenty of uh, ammo. Oh wow, they all broke. Holy shit, except for a few archers over there. Who the fuck gives a shit? Nice. Um, oh, they, actually, that's good, because it means I can kill these uh, these routing units. I actually broke those archers once already, so they'll probably break as soon as they get close. Good, don't break. Ignore me and don't break. Good boys. Oh, okay, they're shattered now. Oh wow, yeah, these shattered men are just being shot by my gunmen as well, constantly. That's nice. I'm just chasing down as many as I can with the general here. Oh shit, they mean to... Oh wow, okay. <laughs> Heroic victory. Heroic victory, yeah, that's good because I think that might actually give me honor for my daimyo. Uh, or maybe it's. Be I'm not sure, maybe it's uh, it's loyalty for the general because my daimyo isn't here, but I believe the heroic victories do something. Or maybe it's like a even higher than heroic, isn't there? Wait, Pyrrhic, is that bad or good? Uh, No, Pyrrhic is bad. Yeah, I thought so. I'm not sure, I, I, I don't I know. I think it was good, but then I researched it and. Yeah, <laughs> it's not. It's not really. <laughs> But um, yeah, I mean, I, I think could do a little bit of a history lesson here if you like. Yeah, go for it. I was enjoying it. Yeah, it's from the Peric Wars where uh, the emperor, not emperor, um, oh my god, the, the general Pyrrhus, um, was winning the war against I think it was the Romans, um, and uh, he he was winning the battles, but the the battles were so close that uh, they said it, it's fairly famous um, a victory, another victory like this, and. Uh, I will have defeat or something. Uh, I don't remember the exact quote, but something like that. Basically, ever since then, if you win a battle um, at huge cost, it is known as a, a Pyrrhic victory. Right. So now on to, on to better news. Yeah. Uh, the Otomo Matchlock Ashigaru got 551 kills total. And actually, the Boa Ashigaru, 300, 240, and 178. We only lost 106. 76 men. Um, they killed 175, and of course the one guy was lost. The, one of the generals unit got killed by my own guys, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. But it was yeah. Shot by a matchlock, I think. <laughs> but um, looking at my losses, it's like ridiculous. This is why I really wanted to play the Otomo. Yeah, that uh, that general tactic worked amazingly well. Yeah, it's so good. It's ridiculous. But obviously, uh, it's only it only works that well in defense. But yeah. it's um, it's a good tactic regardless. Um, we are, however, at an hour and several minutes, so we should probably stop soon. Okay. Um, we have to stop on your turn, though, don't we? Uh, yeah, I can't save. Well, so I have you, had a daughter. Turn. One I thought you'd like to know. Oh, nice. What's your name? Skid. Uh, I don't know. Let's have a look. Clan management. She is called Fushio. Oh, that's a lovely name. Mm. Fish, Shimazu Fishio. Hmm. Oh, my son and heir actually came of age. I see him in my town. Like, I can't see it yet, but I see him in my town. Oh, that's good. Yeah, nice. I can also now build the Nanban Threadport. That is also nice. Yes, it cost me 2000 but I can easily afford it, so I'm going to do that. You are also a robot. Am I? Oh. Yeah. Oh, exterminate. <laughs> that sounded really awesome, actually. <laughs> I'm also going to build a harbour in uh, Osumi, because then I can build a Nanban there as well and get uh, the province converted to Christianity a lot quicker. Sounds good. Yeah, and I'm also going to put some money into post roads and stations in Osumi as well. And Huga is almost under control. Well, it is under control now. It's at zero, which is really good. Indeed. 
my guys are uh, regenerating. They're going to take a few turns for that. I'm still researching. Everything else is good. So, yeah, I think I am done. I just want to have a quick look at that army. There's only eight units left. You can probably tell us more about what's left in it now. If you can see it. Uh, yes. Give I'd like to know seconds. what's left before we end. Indeed. Oh, another clan has been destroyed. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. All right. Um... Hmm, it's not that bad. All right, so he's got his daimyo left with 30 men in it. So uh, yeah, that's the one that came up and uh, like at the last second, and then they routed all, so they didn't really get killed. Then he's yeah. got about a hundred bow samurai over two units. Then he's got about 400 yari shigaru over 400 uh, four units <laughs> over 400 units. So um, yeah, about a hundred uh, average each, and uh, 46 bar shigaru. So it's not it's not like bad, but it's also not like. So one of his generals was killed then. Yeah, I mean that that guy got obliterated. I targeted <laughs> him like on purpose as well. But the guns, like when you shoot arrows at a general, they withstand like twenty arrows in the face. Guns, one shot, they're dead. It's ridiculous. They're just so strong. I'm very much looking forward to fielding some of my own then. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, let's end it here. I will do my turn next time, obviously. So, uh, what happened so far? It's been a pretty decent start right now. Um, Obviously, Ptolemy only started with this province right here, Satsuma. Uh, he took Osumi, and then together we took Hi uh, Hiyugi, Yuga, even. Yuga, yeah. Um, I started with uh, Bungo and Buzen. Haven't done fuck all to be, <laughs> if, I mean, if you look at the map. Uh, but I did repel a pretty big army from the Shoni. Um, and also, obviously, helping Ptolemy in the south with Hi Yuga. Um, so our plans for the future are to conquer this entire island, I think, first where we want to kill the Shoni, and then hopefully we can actually take the cigar because they're looking pretty strong right now. Um, well, we need to convert to Christianity before we start moving out anywhere else. Either. Yeah, exactly. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's, um, that's the plan for the future, taking this island and making it all ours. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the second season of Shogun 2, and we shall see you next time for more. See ya!